starting the hinges for the aileron and the rudder. So the first thing I did is blanked out the strap portions and the tubes that I need. All this is oversized. I'll bring these down to the right size first. The tubes will bring down to the right length after welding. Here's the die that I made that bends the strap that goes around the hinge for the elevator. So basically it has two arms and these arms sit in here, this little holder. And it's got a plant, it's got a couple ears on the top here to hold the metal in, in, in alignment. <clears throat> and then the plunger just comes down the middle. And when it hits the bottom, it pushes the sides in. So you get a little more grip around the radius. And uh, so when it springs back, you're a little closer to straight. It doesn't get it all the way there, but it gets it pretty good. So here's my, uh, my bender for bending these straps around the, the tubes. Uh, and I just kind of wanted to play around with the 3D printer and uh, some of the things I'd seen on YouTube and it actually works pretty well. Anyhow, to get started, I've got a center line drawn. I'm going to bend that by hand a little bit first. Just makes it a little easier to get it going. Center line up, not help. There we go. And there we are. Now I'll start bending it. There they go. As you can see, it fits the pipe really quite well. Now sometimes the two tails don't come out on the nice and aligned. You should be able to see on that one, they're kind of off. Anyhow, it's easily remedied. Just put in the vise. Tap it until you're happy. So here's my setup to, uh, to weld the hinges. So I've got this vise. I just put the this guy in here. Get it out near the edge. Start bringing it down. So right now these two legs are parallel, obviously. So I'm going to take and put a clamp on here to push the tube back in the... into the... Uh, radius there. There we go. And then I just make sure it's parallel across the jaws. Like so. And I just eyeball center for this tube because at this point, it's uh, it's long, so it can be trimmed. I'm going to clamp this down a little bit until I just see these this go in a little bit. I've got a slug of steel here to put in the tube, just to keep me from destroying it and taking it out around, or keeps me from overheating it as much and having as much chance of burning through. So now with that all set up like that. I'm going to just tack it three places on the top and three places on the bottom. So I've got all the hinges uh, welded. 
So now what I need to do is fit them to the spars. So I left the, uh, the spar bushings full length, or well, long. And so now I got to bring them down to size, which will be one inch, which is only like 62 thousandths above each side. So I'll start grinding and filing those down flat. All right, so I've got the stabilizer on, on this uh, one by material that comes all the way this way. I've cut the leading edge for the elevator, so I can use this to help line these hinges up. I'm going to slide the hinges over each end. And then I've made some spacers. I 3D printed these. They uh, get it on something white. Anyhow, they have the perfect spacing in between for the uh, one and eight inches center to center that's called out on the plans. So these are just going to slide in here. Right by where each hinge goes. Slide this in here. Now I'm going to put a clamp on those. So we've got So we've got the front tubes are 7 8 this is 7 8 that's 7 8 so everything's in the same plane. Um, the spacing set with those, and the hinges are on here. So now all I got to do is slide them back. I'll bring over the center mark from the hole, drill a very small pilot hole, bring it back, put the correct size drill bit through to size and out the bottom. Do the same thing on the other side. Alright, so I've got my scribe line on there, so now I need to just find center. It's a one inch strap, so that makes that pretty easy. Center punch it. I'm going to put it over here. Alright, we've got center punched uh, hole location. I've lined it up right to left by going around there and looking underneath. So now I'm just going to pilot drill it. Alright, now for the back side I have a block of wood that I cut to the, the right thickness to support the hinge under there. Alright, so now I'm just going to drill the uh, lubrication holes in these. So on these hinges I need to do a couple more things. One is to radius this out here and the other one's to bring this tube back to the proper width. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of these tabs. So I've got a washer and a bolt that fits through there nicely and I'm just going to draw a nice radius and then I'll just take it to the saws and the sander and make something aesthetically pleasing. The last little thing for the hinges is this little support bracket. So I blanked out some steel and bent it and then uh, just matched the plans and then just used the square to get it straight up and down. I balled it from the end and I've got a magnet on it holding it in place. I'm going to get a little tack on it and then I can tap it around if I need to move it and then I'll weld it in place and then grind it to fit. This is my rig for cleaning up the bore on these hinges. So it's just a 
shaft, a piece of steel I took and split it. And then I just put some sandpaper in it. Jog it the wrong way. And then I just I finished up with the hinges, just made these collars, which will get welded to the uh, elevator here later when lining this all up after it's all attached to the fuselage. The support's in there for the hinge. The other hinges for the other side and the other collars for the rudder and for the other elevator.